due to the overwhelming popularity of my first video, thank you Kathy, um, I will do another one. So tonight I'm going to make Kirk's absolute favorite meal, um, crock pot Mississippi pot roast. This is really easy. Um, all I've done first is I've gotten about a two to three pound chuck roast and I've salt and peppered it on both sides and just dropped it in the crock pot. So you get onion soup mix, any kind or any brand will do. Normally I don't buy Lipton, but since we've been quarantined, that's all the store had. Um, so just put a little bit of that. I usually do about half a package on that. And then about half a package of ranch dressing mix also goes on the meat. And then this is the key, mild pepperoncini peppers. They aren't really hot, they just give it a nice flavor. And this, by the way, I'm not a brand person, but this is my favorite brand of those. So I just put a few, depending on who's gonna eat this, depends on how many of these I put on it. I don't put as much, but since this is going to Kirk, he likes spice, so. I'll put a few just in and around that meat. And then I go ahead and throw in um, potatoes and carrots because that way it makes it a full meal. So just about uh, three or four, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, five or six red potatoes. And then I do just the bag of baby carrots because I hate cutting carrots. So we're just gonna drop those in. Then on top of that, I put um, the other half of the onion soup mix and the other half of the ranch dressing mix. And then a few more peppers. Just lay those around the top. If you want it a little more spicy, you can chop these up in there, but that sometimes will get a little too spicy. And if you're like Kirk and don't know the difference in mild and hot peppers and you buy hot ones, it really makes it spicy. Uh, last thing goes, a stick of butter, and I just cut it up and just kind of lay the little pats of butter around. And then, um, that's it, maybe a little more salt and pepper on the veggies, can never hurt. And then this just goes um, in the crock pot on low about eight hours and you're good to go. You gotta try it. 